of IHW Unstoppable. I am Mike Russell along with rock star Chris Cool. Hey, hey ladies and gentlemen, hey, remember, coming up later hey, on in our show, hey, we're going to have an appearance hey, by none other hey, than the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time, Mike Russell. I know you do agree with this, but he is the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time. The one and only the Hockey Talk Man. Hey, I'm a big fan of the Hockey Talk Man. I can't wait to see him later either. Gonna die, so bite the pillow, man, because the show has arrived. Hey, 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 Shane has arrived. Hey, hey. All hey, right, we got Shane in action here. He's gonna be facing Julian Young tonight. Off the middle ropes. Let me tell you something. Uh, interesting facts about Julian Young. He actually, uh, with the Maritime Wrestling School, has trained many of our uh, current roster. He trained Shano, obviously not very well, so I guess it's not really a feather in his cap. All right, this is Julian Young with nine years of Greco Roman wrestling experience. And tonight, I'm taking on. Maybe nine months of wrestling experience in Mr. Shano from 94.5. So, uh, Shano, time to go back to school. Hey, he's got the abdominal stretch here on Shano. Doing a good job here, holding his own against Julian for being a former ring announcer. Longtime DJ on uh, K94.5. I don't want to talk to him. You're a former broadca broadcast partner too. Let me tell you something, I'm a broadcast journalist. He's nothing but a plebeian. Julian holding the ropes, the ref catches him. Ref counting down, one, two, four. And he kicks him out, what? Oh, oh you just say one, two, four. Yep. I was an idiot. Shano the Show Rollins is what it says here from Kentville, Nova Scotia. You know what else comes from Kentville? <laughs> I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> Nothing good, I'll tell you that right <laughs> okay. now. Here we go. Big clothesline by Shano. And a reversal by Julian Young. Where we go? Oh, man, another big clothesline. Oh, he had a handful of hair. That wasn't a clothesline. Hey, Shano. Putting him to the turnbuckle. Big slap to the chest. He's just really looking going for that chest cavity there. It's below the belt. I don't know. I don't I don't want to know where you wear a belt. Oh, a big suplex. Dropped him on his head. Unbelievable. And Shano kicks out. And a reversal to the turnbuckle. Ju Shano catches him, puts him around. What? Oh, he's got him on his shoulders. It's a power slam coming up. He hits Shades it. of the British Bulldog. One, two, go, oh, and he just barely Again, kicks out. Again, fist full of tights, and he cannot keep Julian Young down. Spinebuster catches him. Two. He kicks out. Aaron Anderson would have been proud of that spinebuster. Let me tell you something. I have to say, I have to give Shano a little bit of props. He's putting on a heck of a fight for someone who is so 
eminently more qualified to be in that you. ring. I'm talking more eminently qualified to be in this ring than him for our debut episode of ISW yes. Impo in Impossible. Unstoppable. Oh, I did it went for a stunner there. Oh, the big super kick. Did you hear that one? He I tried to bring one from Texas, and he got one right back, Daddy. Big. Oh, and he just barely kicks out. I thought it looked like he had hinged his jaw there with that kick. He's got the legs hooked, but it's still to no avail. He cannot get the three count. Well, if you notice, if you notice, Daddy-O, he is. He's going to the top here. I don't going know what he's up going to the top for. rope. That's what I was going to say. Okay. I don't know what he's going for here. Maybe a, he usually does a flying head. But oh, Shano catches him. And he just throws him off. Oh, my God. What a big move. Don't forget. Oh, later on. Stutter. Stutter. Oh, oh my God. No, that was no, sick. No. That right, kicks out. Daddy. That's right. Oh, he just kicked out. I can't believe it. I thought he had him there. You and I can't believe. Don't forget. Later on tonight. On ISW Unstoppable, we have a special appearance by the Honky Tonk Man. Oh, oh, I think he hurt his knee. Who hurt his knee? Julian Young, he's holding his knee, he's favoring the knee. Of course he did, this match should be called off. Shano should be disqualified. Oh no, oh no, he's playing possum. He's rolling him up. Julian Young, instead of using his nine years wrestling experience to get a victory, cheats. Shano obviously distraught Your here. He is not happy Julian about this outcome. Young. Referee did not see the tight the ropes being used as leverage. Julian Young! What fortitude by Julian Young to be able to put him down after hurting his knee. It's amazing. That's why he is a former IHW champion. Unbelievable. A great effort by Shano. Look at Shano. Look how stupid he is. Ladies and gentlemen, Innovator of Hybrid Wrestling has an action-packed summer plan all across New Brunswick. For more information, let's go to the event center. It's supposed to be a nice interview with the Honky Tonk Man. Americans. 
You didn't come here to sing him sing. You came here to see me dance. Oh, good Lord. You know what? What are they doing here? What the heck is going on? You can't attack a man two on one. What? Oh my god, here goes Titus! Titus, the man who fought the honky tonk man the last time he was here. For the microphone. You know what? It's just like you two to come out here and screw everything up. This is Honky's moment, not yours, alright? So for you guys to come out here and do what you just did is damn pathetic. Honky! Don't do it! Don't do it! They're not worth it! They're not worth it! Last time you were here, you cracked me over the head with that damn guitar. But guess what? I was young, dumb, and I deserved it. And I will be the first to admit it. But tonight, It'd be a great honor if you and I could be in this ring together once again, but not against each other, in a team against Team America! What a blockbuster! What do you people think? I think the crowd wants that match. Is that what you want? Titus and the Hanky Tonk Man! What do you say, brother? Just say yes, please. Why don't we call it the New Can-Am Connection? Let's do it, buddy! The New Can-Am Connection is in the house! Oh my god, what a blockbuster announcement! This is ridiculous! They should not have to prove themselves on the next episode of Unstoppable. Have a hockey dog man and Titus against the Americans. This is stupid. It's going to be an unbelievable matchup for next show. Unbelievable. Nothing, a never will be. 
This gun, I will destroy you tonight. Because I am a vegan. Well, I'm not going to take Swab lightly. I've watched him work. Uh, he's actually broken into business before I did. And that doesn't intimidate me in the slightest. Um, you know, he's, he's been saying for the last year that he's the best in Atlanta, Canada. Anybody that follows IHW knows two years ago, that's what I said. That's what I believe. So I want to say at the end of the night after our match, when it's all said and done, the fans are going to know who's the best of Atlanta Canada. Came here tonight to see Mr. Swab lose. You better go home now. This will be the easiest victory in my career. Big match tonight. Mr. Swab, big pitcher. It's going down tonight in Riverview. First time ever. I'm excited, it's gonna be good. We're gonna find out who's the best around here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your main event for our first edition of IHW Unstoppable. Coming to the ring, the big pitcher, Chris Cook, former champion. Gentlemen, folks, you will be in for a treat with this match up here. IHW's former champion, the big picture, Chris Cook, against my champion, Mr. Swan. Cole, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure we both agree that this man is just a vile man. I don't really want to be, I'm usually supposed to be impartial, but I, this man is just a vile man. I do not like to preach about, I do not want to say anything negative about vegans because I have friends who are vegans, but this man takes it to another level when preaching his choir. Schedule for one fall is for the I title. Introducing first, in the corner to my left, fighting out of Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, weighing in at 270 pounds. He is the longest reigning IHW heavyweight champion, the big picture. been waiting for since last year. And in the corner to my right, from Campbellton, New Brunswick, weighing in at 225 pounds, he's vegan, gluten-free, organic, he is the reigning and defending our champion, Mr.
go. Your big main event for tonight's inaugural episode of IHW Unstoppable. For the I title, the big picture, Chris Cook and Mr. Swan. Block to start. Oh, the big picture picks him up very easily, but still holds on. Mr. Swab, another one of the original IHW roster, also trained by Emil Dupre. Swaz's biggest claim to fame in IHW is when he won the IHW Heavyweight Championship from uh, Ryan Storm and took the belt with him to Quebec. Because he's a weenie. And with help from your friends, the Americans. Hey, they can have one thing that they did wrong. Yeah. Honestly though, when, I, when I, uh, Mr. Swaz returned to IHW, he was trying to be a nice guy, but really, just between you and me, and I'm sure you'll agree, he's just naturally a jerk. Big punch by the big picture. One thing amazing, I will give him credit. He has been the IHWI champion now for a year, Mike Russell. And the crowd digging on Mr. Suave. He's, uh, he's trying to be cool about it, but you know it's starting to get to him. Now you watch Chris Cook, who's a big powerhouse. And I'll tell you, Mr. Suave may be fast, but big old Chris Cook. I mean, you put power against speed, and every single time, power's going to win out, Daddy. Yes, Chris, uh, Chris Cook, uh, he's what I would describe as farm boy strong. He's just natural strength. He was trained by another, he's another uh, trainee of uh, Wild Man Gary Williams. Well, you know, I may not like Chris Cook as much as Riddick. Riddick is a mountain of a man, but still another quality trainee from Wild Man Gary Williams. And is, uh, this is only Big Picture's uh, second match uh, since uh, suffering a knee injury shortly after losing the heavyweight title to Titus. Uh, <laughs> very, almost, almost been a, almost a career ending knee injury. Look at, Chris Cook is almost too big for him to put on this hold. This is ridiculous. Now you're gonna watch Swab throwing some speed on there, and I'll tell you, he's fast and greasy. And hey, we got an arm bar here. Explain oh, to me, Mike Russell, how someone who comes claims to be a vegan could be so damn greasy. It's all the coconut oil. Just explain it yourself. And a couple headbutts to the gut by Mr. Swan. And he brings an arm rigger of his own. He's torquing that wrist. Chris Cook takes it out and he gives him another arm rigger. Oh, and a foot to the face. He's really stretching Mr. Swan here. Now, normally I would say the ref should be counting that. It's some sort of illegal thing, I'm assuming. But I have to say, it looks good on him. Oh, yeah, he's got the eyes. Uh, Big punch to the gut there by Mr. Swab. Oh, and a roll up. One, two, oh. And a big arm drag, and right back to the armor. I will say, big picture Chris Cook, as much as it's a big dummy, he has been really intelligent in this match he's for once in his life. He is sitting there, he's hitting with arm drags. He's 
showing up Mr. Suave in the game that you think he could beat him in. He's, he's outspeeding Mr. Suave. And he's just, he's keeping to his strategy, working the arm, weakening the and arm. And how is he keeping a hold of him so tightly when normally you grab Mr. Suave and he just slides <laughs> right up? He must have figured out a way. Big I'm punches. Assuming, I'm assuming sandpaper or he rubbed his hands in cat litter. for the big slam. Oh, he gets out of the way. Oh, and a dragon screw leg whip. Unbelievable. Goes for the knee. A what? what? Who whip? Dragon screw leg whip. You were right. Probably. Oh. And he pushes him over the top rope. To keep from forever damaging that knee. You know, oh, oh my god, he's running the ropes. Sliding oh, drop kick. Go against someone so sneaky doesn't show to the doesn't isn't a test of the intelligence of Chris Cook. He won this match whether the title was on the line or not. That's amazing to me that someone could be that tough with a you know, honestly he's on half a wheel. It just means he's a competitor and he loves to compete. He has to pee? Compete. Big picture throw, Mr. Slaw back in the ring. Oh, what a cheap shot by Mr. Slav. Not surprising, Daddy. We have the Hockey Talk Man and Titus, two of the worst humans in the history of this planet, up against two men who make the United States look wonderful, the Team America. Chris Cook trying to pants uh, Mr. Suave there. Well, at least he's wearing somewhat men's underwear this week. I don't think it's ever a good idea to pant someone like Mr. Suave with all the pie fiber that he eats. You never know, you could be unleashing a... You never know when he's let one off and touch cloth, Daddy. Mr. Suave dropping an elbow. The forearm across the face while he's pitting there, sign of a true... A little bit of the uh, European style there, Mike Russell, I think is what you're going for. Yes. There you go, we got a rear chin lock here by Mr. Suave. We got a two count here. And he powers out. He's not ready to give up yet. Oh, he rolls him up, the schoolboy, one, two, and he kicks out. Oh, again, if he would have held those Oh, we got a backslide coming. One, two, oh, and he kicks out of that. We got a fast-paced action match here. Let me tell you something, Daddy, here it comes. Oh, and a belly to back suplex. What a show of power by Mr. Swab, showing it again that if you have speed and power, speed's gonna win it up, Daddy. And the crowd chanting bacon at Mr. Suave. Oh, and a boot break to the eye. No matter which way he slices it, that's just a cheap move. Big body slam. You know, being a vegan means Mr. Suave also doesn't eat cheese. And I think cheese is great no matter how you slice it. Here we go. 
Oh, he was going to go for a boot stop. Oh, oh, and a pancake on Mr. Suave. He can't, Mr. Suave can't eat pancakes, Daddy, because they have egg in them. You're welcome. Referee counting him out. They're at a three count. Referee Chris Cook. Matt Foibleton. Pettifer. That's what I said. We're at a five count. Who's the first one to get up? It's a good thing they're up because he Mr. can't get past six. Up. Oh, and a big quick miss and a big yeah. back elbow. Double axe handle. Big close on. Mm -hmm. To the corner. And a Irish whip reversal to the turnbuckle. Oh, and he. Big Mr. telegraph Swan by so. Mr. Swan. Oh, shoulder block. We're going to see a springboard here. No, oh. oh. Catches him. Oh, what a move. We got a big one, two. Oh, he I just kicks out. I thought it was over. I thought the impossible had happened. Chris Cook outsmarted somebody. I thought, I do agree with you there. I can't believe that. I thought that was over too. Big kick out by Mr. Swab. He still has a little bit in the reserves. Setting him up. Oh, he misses a knee. Can't. Oh, what a neck breaker. Here it is. One, two, and he kicks out. Mr. Suave do doesn't know what to do from here. Oh, hits him with the knees. Chris Cook catches him. Puts him on the turnbuckle. Oh, he kicks the fist. He catches him. Oh, I think he's blocked it. Oh, he's biting him. The vegan is biting human flesh. Oh, what we have here? He's kind of on. Oh, they go to sleep. One, two. He kicks out. Unbelievable! Mr. Suave can't believe it either. I'm speechless. I don't think he knows what to do anymore. He's pleading with the referee. Ladies and gentlemen, what a main event for your inaugural show of IHW Unstoppable. Big boot. Oh, a knee to the face. Way up. Setting him up for a power slam here. No. Nope. We saw Shane O'Neill reversal one of those earlier. It didn't work out for him. Here comes Swab. Knees in the corner. Oh, no. The big picture slam. Oh, he's got him. He hit it. He hit it. Oh, what a smart move by Mr. Swab. He rolls out of the ring and saves his title. He saves his title. Not even the fans want to touch him. Look at that. Well, I don't blame them. It's like putting your hand in a frying pan if you made bacon. Gilbert needs to get Suave back in the ring. Oh, oh. Unbelievable. The crowd does not like that decision. Your winner, as a result of a count out, the big picture, Chris Cook. However, the title cannot change hands on a count out. Still the I champion, Mr. Swab. Mr. Swab pulls one out of his hat and keeps the title in spite losing. Big picture, not happy about this. The crowd isn't happy either. Unbelievable main event here for your inaugural show. IHW Unstoppable. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this premiere edition of IHW and Unstoppable. Catch us next time. I am the voice of IHW, the rock star Chris Cole, with my knobby friend Mike Russell at my side.